Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Wild Breakaway with West Walls. I'm Audra Martin. We've seen it happen too often here lately for the Minnesota Wild. They found themselves down 2 nothing early to the Carolina Hurricanes, but on home ice, they've been playing some great hockey. So once again, they were able to battle back. Unfortunately, this one going to overtime, the Wild have to settle for one point against the Canes. Yeah, and they're at a point in the season when they're four or five games under 500 where you start, you need two points every night. They were Unfortunately, they could not get the extra point. Um, I, I thought the Minnesota Wild played a, a really smart outstanding game. I know they were down 2 nothing early, as you mentioned, but I didn't think the game was dictated that way. I thought the Minnesota Wild could have very easily been up one or two goals. Um, and then again, uh, took the play to the Carolina Hurricanes and then uh, got into overtime and have had some problems here over the last few years in overtime. And it happened here again tonight where the Minnesota Wild had a great opportunity. Luke Conan in overtime. Um, they get the, the, the uh, Carolina Hurricanes get the big save. The puck goes the other way. And their young phenom, the Russian kid there, is able mm -hmm. to uh, uh, get them the extra point. Yeah, so it is a fourth Three loss today for the Minnesota Wild, despite being outshot or but despite out shooting the Carolina Hurricanes. We saw the first shorthanded goal of the season. That one coming from Zach Parisi, also Carson Soucy getting his first career NHL goal here tonight. But it is all in a fortunate overtime losing effort. Another nice night on the PK for the Minnesota Wild. That's four straight without a power play goal allowed. Another good start for the Minnesota Wild, despite that two goal deficit in the first period. Like it was a pretty even. Um, first period other than the goals, I thought. And uh, uh, I didn't want them to get discouraged because they, they were playing good. And uh, uh, we got the goal, and that sort of turned the tide, energy, momentum, and whatever you want to call it. But uh, um, I, I just was really thinking that they thought that they were playing well and there was, this was going to be a game that we were going to win. Hey, Wes, what do you know? The Wild back on the road. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine that. Yeah. Seven of the next ten, again, away from the XL Energy Center this time. They're taking on Jack Eichel and the Buffalo Sabres Tuesday night. 5.30 is when you can join us for Wild Live here on Fox Sports North. Man, this road stretch has been so tough for the Minnesota Wild, and unfortunately, they haven't been playing their best hockey away from home. Now another long stretch. they got to find a way to play that consistent winning hockey and pick up some points away from the XL Energy Center. Yeah, and, and you know, they've, they've found themselves down 2 nothing. In five of the last six games and I, I don't think the play every night has been you know I don't think it's been two nothing I've watched the games and all of a sudden I look up and they're down two nothing there's been games even like tonight where they were played with the Carolina Hurricanes they're they're gonna need uh, to get the big save at the right time they haven't got that here over the last uh, over the last little while but you know you, you need two points at home they didn't get it tonight and if that is going to be the case then you got to go get it down on the road it's not the end of the world the Minnesota Wild have proven that they can win games out on the road they did it last year it's been a tough start to the season but I, I think generally speaking over the last seven eight games the Minnesota Wild have played really, really good. And I know there might be some people back there uh, that are watching that are just going, oh, geez, here goes Walls again. But I'm telling you, the Wild have played seven or eight really, really good hockey games in a row. They have not been able to put two or three, four wins in a, in a row together. The key is just to not get discouraged. Stay with what you're doing and trust that at some point you're going to come out the other side and all of a sudden the winds are going to come a little easier. But it uh, has not been easy for the Wild here so far early in this season. Well, this Buffalo matchup is a good time to get it done. They are winless in their last handful of games. They'll play Ottawa tonight and then up next the Minnesota Wild. So we'll see if they can take advantage of a struggling Buffalo team Tuesday night. Again, 530 for Wild Live. We'll see you then for West Walls and Madra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway.